we need to talk about Now we all know what this game is about. This is for people who fuck with Dragon Ball, people who grew up on Tenkaichi, people who played the Budokai games. This game is like the second coming of Christ for Dragon Ball games. And obviously people wanted it because it sold 3 million copies and outsold Call of Duty, I believe, which is fucking insane. But honestly, when you put this on for the first time and you start playing, it really does live up to the hype. You see the crazy visuals, you play the gameplay, you see how accessible it is how they execute on every little thing, how they touch on so much stuff in Dragon Ball's lore and just present it all in such a clean way. And how they give you so many goddamn characters from the campaign people who are like, oh, relevant to Dragon Ball story for the long run, but like, you still get the plays them. Like fucking Rebrianne, like who really wanted Rebrianne? Anyway, the game feels and looks great when you first start playing it, and it definitely lives up to that hype initially. But after you put some time in, after you sit down with it, you let it, you let it absorb into you, get past the hype, you're going to notice some issues. First issue that I noticed was with the campaign. Now, let's be honest, nobody wants to play through Dragon Ball Z story again. This shit has been redone in video games hundreds of times pretty much every dragon ball game release we get the exact same story told over and over and over and over and over again which isn't necessarily a problem obviously it's adapting the anime but like after a point it's like bro i get it like we we get the story there's only so many different ways you can animate there's only so many different lines you can change like we get the point now this game they go about it and like they try to spice it up a little bit to have you play through the campaign based on character perspectives like you can play through going as Goku's perspective, so you'll only do the shit that Goku was involved in, which ironically is very little, as you'll see if you play through. You can go through his Vegeta's perspective, Gohan's perspective. They try to do some things to spice it up with like diverging paths and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's what you expect. Now, let's go back to that diverging path thing for a second. For example, anyone who's watched the anime, when Goku fights Cell in the Cell games, Goku does not win that fight. He forfeits, right? So, I don't know. Before the last hit, Cell maybe, like, blows up when you or fucking beats you or turns invincible or does something to show that you lost the fight or to do the typical fighting game thing where you beat the person, but then in the cutscene, it's like, ah, you lost anyway. <laughs> but anyway, the game, the mission objective is survive. It gives you no details other than that. So you would think, okay, survive. I'm just going to fight and just hope for the best. Now me, I was bla blazing through this fucking campaign. I was beating everybody's ass. Like had no issues. I was beating people too fast, apparently, as we'll see in a second. So I'm fighting so I beat him. Like I clear his entire health bar. He's dead. And I notice I get to the next screen and playing a it's playing a cutscene. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is this like the end of the Cell game saga? It basically wrapped up saying as if goku had beat cell and that was just the end of the, like, the saga like that was over and i was like oh okay like <laughs> i guess like it went on a, a diverging path and we're just gonna go on from there wrong that diverging path literally just takes you basically to a dead end so because i beat cell and i did it lose or stop in the way that the game wanted me to or the game didn't trigger its cutscene or its event in time with me beating cell i got sent on a diverging path for beating him and then i have to go back and fight cell again and hope that the path the correct path triggers properly so i can continue the campaign no this this is impossible guess i was wrong cell turns out i was just a little bit stronger than you after all Stop the cow. <laughs> so basically, I have to go and fight Cell, get his health bar to a certain point, fly around dodging the computer, spamming its fucking special moves, walking on fucking eggshells not to kill this man or beat him too bad, waiting for a dialogue sequence or something to trigger so the fight can end and the game can progress the way it's supposed to progress because Goku doesn't have to go in that fight. That shit is corny. It bothered me there because I beat the fight and I was fucking confused because I was like, 
I was going back, replaying the mission, beating Cell over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, is something supposed to trigger? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I just keep going on this divergent path and I can't progress. Then I had to look it up and they're like, oh no, you gotta get Cell to like one health bar and then just wait for him to say something. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like how, how am I supposed to know that? Like, the game doesn't trigger anything when he gets to one health bar. Nothing happens, no cutscene. I literally had to just stop fighting him and just wait for that shit to pop. Like, it's so stupid. And then another thing is like, if he beats you, you just lose. You have to replay the mission. So it's not like, oh, he beat me. Like I, I lost the fight. Like kind of like I lost the anime. I guess I'll progress. No, you just lose the mission and you have to fight him over again. So if you beat him too fast, you fail. If he beats you, you fail. So you have to fight walking on eggshells to get them to a certain point and then just wait until the game decides to let you progress. That shit's... I can't, I can't stress how annoying that shit is. And it happens multiple times through the campaign. The most annoying time it happens is when you get to the Dragon Ball Super section and you have to fight fucking Zamasu. You have to fight Goku Black and Zamasu as a pair, like in a 1v, 1v2 or 1v2 fight. Then they fuse together into Fuse Zamasu. Then you have to fight him too, all in the same health bar while you're playing as Goku. And if you beat him too fast, it goes in a divergent path and you can't progress a story. So you have to do exactly what I just said before, get him to a certain point while dodging a million special moves that Fuse Zamasu is going to throw at you and wait for the game to get through its thousands of fucking dialogues with Trunks and Zamasu before it lets you progress. I don't know who thought this shit was a good idea, but they need to add some better transition or something to continue this on, like when you get to the point where the game wants you to get to. Like if I get him to the one health bar, the game should just like, stop combat going to a cutscene. That's what most other fighting games would do. I don't know why they have it like the gameplay continues while the dialogue is going. Like I, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but that that shit's trash. I feel like they need to patch that. It literally is just so like annoying when it's like I already beat this shit and I have to redo it again because I didn't beat it in the way the game wanted me to beat it. But anyway, on to the next thing. The second biggest gripe I have with this game that's probably honestly a big reason I can see people dropping it entirely. It's one of the reasons I don't even want to really play it right now until they release some type of patch for it, but the multiplayer. Now, this is not going to be about multiplayer balance. I don't give a fuck that people are online playing Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 and stomping everybody. Everybody knew what this was before you got in here. Like, you were not coming and playing Dragon Ball Fighters. This is a party game. This shit's unbalanced. It's gonna be unbalanced. We wanted to stay unbalanced. Like, we don't care. Like, <laughs> let people play their fusions and beat everybody's ass. I mean, we got niggas also figuring out how to use Yashirobi and get to the top. Anyway, this is this is not about balance. This is about the fundamental mechanics of the game. This game's responsiveness or input detection is fucked. I don't know what is wrong with it, but once you get into a multiplayer match, this game just does not read anything you're doing consistently. I thought this was a performance problem. Like I was thinking maybe because there's a lot of stuff happening on screen that it just has trouble keeping up with inputs, like maybe something like that. Then I was thinking maybe it's just me, like it's a timing thing. And then what made me break out of that mindset is when I was playing with one of my friends, he was standing on the corner, he's charging up, nothing's happening on screen. I'm standing still, I'm playing like this Goku. I'm like, all right, let me transform. I press up on the D-pad to go into the transform menu. Nothing happens. I'm like. It's weird. Press up again. Nothing happens. Check my control. Charge connected. We're all good. I can throw punches. Press up on the D-pad. Nothing happens. Press left to go into the switch menu. Switch characters. Nothing happens. I start mashing up fucking furiously. Then it finally pops up. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> this game can't even get that input down when nothing is happening. Like, how, like, what is going on with the input detection and this shit? Like, I... I went online as well to see if other people were running into this shit and it looks like there's a weird thing where the game will randomly like swap your controls if you're playing classic like it'll flip in the standard or flip standard like the classic so your special moves won't register like i don't know how the hell this isn't even a problem like i don't know how this got past testing but this shit makes it like 
it makes the online damn near unplayable, bro. Like, that shit pisses me off. Like, you'll be sitting there mashing shit knowing you got that timing right. Even with, like, the lag delay and online, like, you know you hit something and it just does not go through. Your combos will be dropping because it's, like, it just stops reading your shit. You can't switch characters. You can't transform, like, consistently. You can't pop off moves consistently. Like, the, the game's input detection fucking kills the experience online. Like, I can't stress that shit enough. I really really hope they patch it it looks like they will be i believe on october 30th but as of right now this shit really drags the game down it looks like this is mainly an issue when you're playing online multiplayer but they 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 need to fix this because if this is going to be a party game like the dragon ball game that people go to to have fun to play online do like dumb shit with their friends like you have to get the basic mechanic of fucking reading your moves down bro like <laughs> We don't want balance, we just want it to be consistent. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone's beating my ass as Gogeta for. I just give a fuck if I get my comment how many high off, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, that's like that over above anything else is the major issue that I have with this game right now. But anyway, last thing, which is like something minor. <laughs> Offline multiplayer. You can only play on one stage, the hyperbolic time chamber. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing I can really say about that besides that's trash. Give us more stages. Like, I don't I want to play another match than like Hyperbolic Time Chamber when I play off one. There's nothing else really more to say on that, but overall, man, this game really is something special for Dragon Ball fans. I think they did a lot right here. I think they have like really big potential to make this something that lasts long. It's like a big party game, something fun that people can fuck with. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be an Evo game. Honestly, I don't. I don't know if it'll go that far. It could just off of sheer popularity, but I don't know. As of right now, the game's cool, but these two issues right here, I think are two problems that they really need to fix. The multiplayer one above all else. If they fix that, I think they're straight. They're good. They got a good game. They got longevity. They're fine. But yeah, man, that's basically what Spark and Zero is. Also, I'm gonna need this video to get 5 million likes or I'm gonna find you. Waking every day, I don't see shit change Trying to figure out what I can do about it Trying to put my crew on, but the shit is too small Maybe it's a stretch, nigga, we could even rock it Yeah, we got a lift off, but the shit is too slow Lately, I've been feeling like this motherfucker stalling Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling 